Good morning, second graders. It is Thursday, April 16th. I am having a cup of tea. My cup says one smart cookie, which makes me want to have cookies. Here is a hot tip for homework. Have something like a cup of tea with you when you do your homework. I think homework is always way more fun when you have some sort of treat. So have a cup of tea or a cup of hot chocolate or grab like a little bowl of popcorn or some sort of fun treat that you could snack on or sip on while you're doing your math paper. Of course, check in with mom and dad, but cup of tea. Peppermint is my favorite. Peppermint is my favorite tea. Okay. Let's start with a poem. This is called The Cow by Robert Louis Stevenson. The friendly cow all red and white, I love with all my heart. She gives me cream with all her might to eat with apple tart. She wanders lowing here and there and yet she cannot stray. All in the pleasant open air, the pleasant light of day. And blown by all the winds that pass, and wet with all the showers, she walks among the meadow grass and eats the meadow flowers. The Cow by Robert Louis Stevenson. There's a picture. Cute. <laughs> kind of a fat cow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read to you guys about a beetle. This says, fight or make peace. Like peace, like not war peace. Here is a riddle. What do you get when you cross a deer and an insect? A stag beetle. Did anybody know that? You should tell me, let me know. The male stag beetles are most famous for the large hard antlers antlers that are called mandibles. These antlers stick out the sides of their mouths. Bling. These powerful antler horns are used for fierce battles, especially when the beetles compete for a mate, food, or territory. The females are no weaklings either. Although their horns are much smaller, they are also very strong. Beetles are found all over the world. One female produces 30 to 70 eggs per season. Stag beetles feed on rotting wood. Look for them under stones, logs, or fallen leaves in your own, in your own backyards. Maybe you'll see, even see two males fighting over the same mate. In the Bible, long ago, there were two women in the Bible who fought over a baby. This is um, from 1 Kings. They each gave birth to a baby boy, and when one baby died during the night, his mother switched him out for the other living baby. The mother, the other mother woke up and argued, the living baby is my son, the dead baby is yours. They came to King Solomon. He wanted to find out who the real mother was, and so he said, bring me a sword. He told his soldiers, divide the living child in two, give half to one woman and half to the other. Don't kill him, one mom cried. Give him to the other woman. But the other woman said, go ahead, divide him. Then King Solomon knew who the real mother was and he told the soldiers, don't kill the child. Give him to the first woman. She is his mother. So think about yourselves. In the world of nature, there is much fighting among animals. Do you guys remember when we watched Right in the Dance Earth? I think we did that at Christmas and there's so much fighting that was happening and and lots of death that that happens in the natural world Even among people hatred and jealousy leads to fights. Will you be a peacemaker? Will you let will you be like the other woman the other mother who was willing to let the other woman have her baby so that he might live Write down one way that you can make peace in your home today. You don't have to do that. You could do that if you want to. I think my mailman just walked behind me. So if you saw a stranger walk behind me, it was my mailman. Don't worry, I'm fine. I now have mail. Oh, I wonder if I have some of your letters. I'll have to run out and check. Okay, um, be a peacemaker. Make peace, not war. Let's see, my question for you is, oh, I'll ask you, 
uh, this will be this will be my question do you like tea and if you do what is your favorite kind of tea and that is my question for today okay you guys I miss you see ya have fun today work hard